Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, today we will be discussing management functions or functions of management, which is very important for examination point of view too. There are five functions of management. One is planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. Now let us understand the functions of management in detail. Dear students, management functions in the words of Pons and O. Daniel, management includes planning, organizing, staffing, directing and controlling. See, theoretically we can separate the functions of management, but Practically, they are overlapping, blend into the other and affects the performance of other. They are interdependent and interrelated. You cannot separate practically, but theoretically we can segregate. Now let us discuss the functions of management in detail one after the other. The first one is planning. According to fuel, Planning is the hardest function of any management. They have to plan for the future course of action. That means they have to plan now for future course of action. See, the planning will help us to bridge the gap between where we are and where we should be. For example, if a firm is earning 100 rupees as a profit, in future, the profit has to be increased to 1 lakh. If you are planning like this to reach your goal, that means you are have a goal that in future you have to be there. That means now I am earning 100 rupees as a profit. After 5 years, my company has to earn 1 lakh. So, for reaching that level, you need to plan. So the planning will help us to bridge the gap between where I am and where I should be. So you have to plan that well in advance, well in advance. You have to uh, decide how you have to reach this goal. See, we have predetermined our objectives or goals. To reach your predetermined goals, you are going to plan in advance. And moreover, the planning is pervasive and intellectual activity. So when you are going to plan in advance to reach your goals, you are going to make a proper utilization or op Optimal, optimum utilization of all available resources and you can avoid confusions and uncertainties, risk and wastage of men, material and resources which will be very essential for achieving your goals effectively. After planning, you have to organize. Organizing. What is the second function of management? Organizing. You need to organize. See, whenever you are going to set up any business, you need to have factors of production. Okay, you need to have factors of production. These factors of production may be physical, financial, or human resources. So you have to bring these three factors, physical, financial, and human resources together. And you need to make a combination of this physical, financial, and human resources. And you have to make a combinations. See, for example, if labor resources cheaper, you have to increase more human resource and capital is very costly, you have to ready, you have to make a combination of these resources in such a way that one side the cost of production should decrease and the productivity or the production of uh, an industry or organization should increase. So you have to organize these resources in such a way. So when you are going to organize in a proper ma manner or think to 
organize these resources will develop a, a productive relationship between among them and which will ultimately help you to achieve organizational goals the next one is staffing so when you are considering uh, the third most important function of management staffing is very very important because employing a right person in a right place is very essential you have to consider the skill of the person by considering this skill and you need to recruit that person in a right position which will help you to achieve the organizational goals with a minimal cost in a short period so in the re uh, you can see in the recent years there is a lot of advancement in the technology large scale operation and even a complexity of human behavior it is very essential for uh, 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 arranging a people human resources or recruiting a person in a right uh, job is very very important the fourth function of management is directing so here the organization will be there and their goals will be set for the future and to achieve those goals organization has to direct the resources towards achieving organizational goals for that it has to supervise it has to motivate and lead and communicate with the subordinates to achieve organizational goals if there is any deviation from uh, moving towards achieving organizational goals this deviation has to be brought into the track by motivating by supervising by guiding the resources in order to achieve organizational goals the fifth the last one is controlling what do you mean by controlling as already i told where the organization is there and where it has to be to reach these objectives the organization has to watch whether the organization is moving towards uh, achieving a predetermined organizational goals so always organization or management is going to set a certain standard performance of an organization and it has to measure the actual performance of organization and it has to compare with the standard performance of a organization and you have to find out a a correlation of a deviation if there is any difference for example standard performance that means standard performance means every year see what i took example uh, 100 rupees as a profit and you need to reach a uh, 1 lakh uh, profit in the future so in that situation every after 5 years i am talking so every year whatever you are thinking to earn profit improvement in the profit that means uh, after 100 rupees as a profit uh, next year by end of the next year you have to earn 25 thousand rupees as a profit by next year we should reach or we should earn 50000 like this if we have a set a standard performance of an organization and you have to see actually you are able to reach uh, by the end of the year earning of 25000 rupees profit if you are able to earn only 1000 rupees uh, as a profit you are not able to earn 25000 rupees as a profit or less than 25 then the actual performance of a firm or organization is less than the standard performance if you want to reach uh, the predetermined uh, object then there is a deviation and you have to correct that deviation you have to control you have to guide you have to bring all the resources in the in that direction in order to achieve organizational goals dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much